Are you suffering with a bulging disc, but you're still looking for ways to safely strengthen your core? If you are, then this video is perfect for you. Hi everybody, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s and sciatica specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm going to be revealing the three best core exercises when you've got a bulging disc. Now, before we dive into the content of the video, if you haven't already, please hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel using the link in the bottom right, because then you'll be the first to hear about our new sciatica videos when they come out. Now that that's been said, let's talk about sciatica and core exercises. So one of the biggest challenges for people with sciatica is that they read online or they're told by their doctor that improving their sciatica comes down to having a stronger core. But when they try and do all of the common core exercises, it just makes the sciatica worse. And one of the reasons for this is that many of the core exercises that are effective for strengthening the tummy muscles involve movements that aggravate bulging discs. Now, bulging discs are the most common cause of sciatica, but if you have a bulging disc, don't worry, there are ways you can still strengthen your core without aggravating the problem. And I'm going to give you my three favorite exercises for doing just that today. Now, before I show you what the exercises are, it's very important to note that these exercises will not be suitable for everyone. You must take into account your own personal circumstances before you try these. And this video is not to be used as a substitute for proper individual medical advice. Now that that's all been said, let's have a look at the three core exercises. I'm gonna show you how each one can help you. And then that should give you a good place to start for strengthening your core to help with the sciatica. So now I'm gonna show you the three best core exercises for bulging discs. These are the ones that I tend to give to my patients if they have bulging discs. But as I've said before, they're not the best for everyone to get checked out before you try them. Now, the thing that these exercises have in common is that none of them use what we call flexion, which is bending of the spine, and all of them keep the spine either neutral, which is flat, or in extension, which is leaning back. Both of these movements tend to be better for people with bulging discs, and they still strengthen the core. Now, all of these exercises can be done easily from your bed or from a mat on the floor or from a comfortable carpeted floor as well. So you don't need a bed like mine, but I'm just gonna use my bed to show you how to do the exercises. So the first exercise is called the bridge. And this is an exercise that many people have heard of, but not everyone does it correctly. So the goal of the bridge really is to strengthen the core muscles, which are these muscles here, and the gluteal muscles, which are these muscles here. So start off lying flat on your back. You can use a pillow if you like, and you're gonna bend your knees up as far as you can. And having your feet closer to your bottom tends to be better because it aggravates, it, it activates the buttock muscles better than if your feet are out like this, okay? So you start like this, and you're gonna have your hands down by your side to begin with. And the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to press your lower back down into either the bed or the mat. And as you do this, you're going to just breathe your tummy in towards your spine. And what that tends to do is switch on the abdominal muscles. You can still keep breathing. You're not holding your breath. So your stomach should still rise and fall, but you don't want your tummy up like this. You want it down towards your spine. So now what you're going to do is you're going to push through your heels and you're going to lift your bottom up in the air whilst maintaining that inward movement of the belly button. And at the top of the movement, what we want is for your buttocks to squeeze together very tight. So imagine that you've got a pencil between your bottom cheeks and you're trying to grip it by squeezing the buttocks together. So to show you again, you're going to keep your spine flat breathe in towards the belly button, and then you push up and squeeze the buttocks at the top. So when it comes to what my feet are doing, I'm pushing through my heels, okay? Not through my toes, I'm pushing through the heels of my feet. And at the top of the movement, we're holding the contraction for about three seconds, two or three seconds, and then slowly coming down. Now at the end of the set, you should feel that you're 
thighs have had a workout, you should feel that your buttocks have had a workout and possibly a little bit of your stomach as well. And if you're finding that very easy and you can quite happily do 10 or 15 with no problems, what you're gonna work on doing is coming up and then lifting one leg up in the air without letting your pelvis drop to one side and then you come down. So again, what you're gonna do is you switch the movement on and then you lift one leg up in the air without letting the pelvis drop. And doing this, I can start to feel my tummy muscles working a bit harder now, okay? So that's the bridge with an easy variation and that's your first exercise for a bulging disc to help with your core. For most of these exercises, I recommend doing a set of about 10 or 15, about three times over. Now the second exercise we're going to do that helps to strengthen the core is one that we do lying on our front. And ideally this is done on the floor and it's an exercise most people have seen before which is called the plank. So the plank is a nice exercise that helps to strengthen the muscles around the midriff. Quite a difficult exercise so there's a couple of variations to make it easier if you find the classic plank too difficult. So what this exercise involves is finding a nice stable surface and what you're going to do is just prop yourself up onto your elbows like this which tends to be quite a comfortable position for most people with bulging discs and now the first variation of the plank is the easier version and what that involves is just propping yourself up onto your knees and your elbows like this so we're lifting the pelvis off the bed we're lifting the chest up as well, and we want the spine to be more or less flat. And holding this position, I can feel my tummy muscles have to switch on to keep me here. And with the plank, the best thing to do really is just to try and hold the position going up to 30 seconds, maybe even a minute if you can manage it. Not enough to aggravate the sciatica, but definitely enough to feel like you've worked quite hard, and then try and do it three times over. Now, if that's too easy for you, you can try doing a full plank, which looks like this. And that is where you go up onto your toes and your elbows. And again, we don't want to allow ourselves to sag down. We don't want to be up like this. We want to be flat like I am now. And as you can see, this is a little bit more difficult than the one with the knees. So you hold for 30 seconds to a minute and try and do that three times over. And now the final exercise, which I tend to give to my clients who have got bulging discs is, uh, and to improve their core is what we call the bird dog. And this is a great core exercise. It's good for stability and it also helps you with control of the spine. So the exercise starts like this. You, again, you're on a nice firm surface. This time you're on all fours. You should feel nice and comfortable here. And the first thing what you're going, that you're gonna do is you're going to try lifting one of your arms up in front of you like this. And if that feels manageable, you're gonna bring it down and then try the other one as well. So just check that you're quite happy weight bearing through either hand in this position. Now, if you can do that quite well, you can move on to the second stage of the bird dog. And the, the second stage looks more like this. So you're lifting one hand and the opposite leg. I'm just having to adjust to accommodate for the wall behind me, but you get the idea the leg and the arm should be straight. And then you come back down. So again, what I'm gonna try and focus on here is keeping my spine straight, keeping my pelvis level, and keeping my spine still as I raise and lower alternate sides. So when you have your arm and your leg elevated, you probably want to hold it for about three to five seconds just to feel contraction. And we shouldn't allow the spine to rise or dip too much. And we should try and keep that pulling in of the tummy button throughout the whole thing. For most people, alternating between those two positions for about 30 seconds is enough to get a bit of a workout. And if you can do that three times over, that's a great exercise for your core when you've got sciatica and bulging discs. So those are my three favorite core exercises for people with bulging discs. As I explained in the video, the reason that they're good for people with bulging discs typically is because they don't involve lots of flexion, okay? 
Now exercises that involve lots of flexion, they tend to make bulging disc symptoms worse. And I have another video on this topic coming out very, very soon about the worst core exercises for bulging discs. So make sure you don't miss out on that one. Anyway, that's all I had for you today. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below because I love to hear your thoughts. And if you want more from me, you can pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below this video. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you on the next one.